the channel in this video i'm going to be going over zillica now you guys have actually uh, highlighted this to me obviously it's a coin that i have seen from the corner of my eye but i love it when you guys do tell me to look at some projects so make sure you stick around to the end because as always i drop gems with that being said make sure you like comment and subscribe and as always click the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date on all my recent videos and remember guys nothing you see in this video is financial advice so always make sure to do your own research with that being said let's get into this video zillica firstly i'm going to talk about its use case and why i believe this project actually does have quite a lot of potential right now what zillica aims to do is to make blockchains faster and more scalable which we can all agree is needed in this space it uses shard technology to streamline the consensus process and essentially this equals to faster trans actions now if we were to compare you know other cryptocurrencies uh, that you know are trying to do this etc then we can kind of compare apples for apples and see which one could potentially win the race who's going to be here five ten years from now now this project does have a bit of a potential you know especially when you look at it from its own standpoint see how it's performed so far it is pretty impressive and i'm going to explain why Firstly, let's have a look at the current price. We're now at 16 cents per coin, but most importantly, guys, what I want you to pay close attention to is number one, it actually did rally quite a bit in 2018. Now, of course, this was a pump and dump and officially ended the year on a massive low, but that was very, very interesting considering most cryptocurrencies um, pretty much were on a downward spiral from the start, basically. You know, there wasn't any uh, price movement to the upside. And this, and obviously, we did see price continue to range. And then obviously, as always in 2021, you know, most cryptocurrencies did start to make its way to the upside. And this cryptocurrency is no different. And as you can see, it's up nearly, let's have a look, 441% for the year. So pretty impressive. And what I'm very impressed with is the rate of in which it rec recovered, right? It recovered extremely fast. And we, if we were to compare this to other cryptocurrencies that obviously sold off in 2018, we haven't seen a recovery this fast, right? This is almost at an all-time high, less than three months, three full months into uh, the new year, right? Into 2021. So this is very, very impressive and does demonstrate to me that there is ob obviously some kind of demand um, behind this, right? There are, you know, people you know, do you want this coin because of, and I can only judge that by how fast it's recovered and where price currently is now. Relatively still pretty cheap when we compare this to other products and other coins. Let's just get into, before I go over the actual fundamentals, um, <coughs> you know, the fundamentals, etc., and the technicals more in depth. I just want you guys to understand, once we do break this all time high, we are still going to be essentially in the price discovery phase, right? We're still in the price discovery phase once we do break all time highs. And we're going to look at where price could potentially go by the end of the year. But this does look like a very, very interesting project. I do like the problem it's solving. Let's just have a look uh, at more, you know, closer into the coin. As you can see, pretty decent going back to all time highs. Um, in 2018, believe it or not. Yes, I know, very surprising. And as you can see, the total supply at the moment is, scroll down and have a closer look. Total supply, 14.3 billion. Circulating supply, 11 billion. So they're managing to control the supply quite well. Again, you know, it's, it's decent, right? It's, it's decent. It's not, you know, we're not essentially seeing an overall, um, uh, an overall, uh, there's not too much supply in the market. Let's just put it that way, right? When we compare this to other projects, and I'm not saying that Ripple or, or um, XLM is, you know, is, you know, com you know, comparable to this just because they do have different use cases. But, you know, the 100 billion uh, supply, it's, 
you know, typically those coins don't go below uh, above one dollar, or if they do, they just start to range to that level. Because of course, when you have too much supply, you need equally as much demand just for price to move. Um, this uh, supply has been controlled pretty well. So I'm interested to see how this uh, pans out by the end of the year. I do not yet have an end of year price target. The reason why is because I need to look at this project more in depth, right? I don't like to give out, you know, just airy fairy numbers and just make stuff up. I do like to look at where this could potentially go. And like I said, the market cap still fairly small, 1.8 billion. You know, not a huge market cap when we compare, you know, to the potential of the overall cryptocurrency space. And guys, let's put it this way. You know, if the overall market cap of um, the cryptocurrency space hits over 5 trillion this year, then we are, are going to see um, pretty much price you know, move to the upside across the board. And what we're going to see is um, when the next bear cycle uh, comes along is who's going to survive? Which coins are going to go to zero? Are we going to stop seeing these, you know, essentially pretty much all cryptocurrencies are correlating together, right? In terms of the overall move, are we going to start to see, you know, uh, you know, a bit of a, uh, like I said, less correlation, right? Uh, and to be honest with you, for this space to thrive, we are going to need to see, you know, less uh, correlation across the board, especially with coins that don't have any, um, you know, they're not correlated in any way in terms of their use case. It would make more sense if there was a decorrelation in regards to that. So, for example, the, um, you know, the, if we were to look at this in the stock market, if we're looking at utility stocks, they obviously move different to tech stocks. Tech stocks move different to finance stocks, etc. So we want to see that in you know in the crypto space. Now we are still fairly new, so of course, um, of course, we cannot expect that straight straight away. We're still, I believe, in a price discovery phase across the board. So let me just draw this out just so you can guys can see the overall all time high level. So this will be the next. Uh, profit target and that will be 42 percent uh to our to our to hitting our all-time high target of 23 cents so we'll be keeping a close eye on this again i probably diversify some of my portfolio just so i can reallocate uh, funds into this project because to be honest with you just from a price action perspective i do like the way it moves it does look you know quite good overall so yeah, going to have a deeper look at this, guys, and I'll be sure to do more updates on this particular cryptocurrency. But again, I'm not going to, you know, do the heavy technicals on this just yet. I'm going to wait until we break the full all time high. I'm going to use Fib extension and we're going to look at where this can potentially go long term. With that being said, guys, when others are fearful, be greedy. When others are greedy, be fearful. With this particular cryptocurrency, I wouldn't say people are fearful or necessarily being greedy. We're still stuck below our all-time high, so now's a good opportunity to buy more. If you, of course, believe in the in the project itself, not financial advice, personal opinion. With that being said, guys, seize the day.